Those of us who love this world, its diverse creatures and plants and landscapes. We didn't get here by chance. Somewhere along the line, someone or something entered our imagination. Eye contact with the wild stag, fresh fruit in summer, insects under a classroom magnifying glass, witnessing a birth. Our stories feed our wonder and grief for the living world, keep us fighting for it. It's our duty to bring imagination and inspiration lovingly in the way our someone or something did for us to remind those who are forgetting how to love this world. In a world where corporations are too slow moving to act and we feel disempowered as individuals, we need community. It's when we come together as smaller groups affecting incremental changes that we can see and show others what's possible, that the drips turn to a trickle, turn to a flood. And vitally important for that to happen is a way for us to be witnessed, to see our human hands and hearts included in the story of this endangered world. We are, after all, as much an animal as starling and rabbit. We experience abundance and suffering as one whole. It's with these tenets, a loving invitation to imagination and community that me and my project partner, Ganny Naylor, worked with Dorset Wildlife Trust and the people of St. Peter's Churchyard. With oral storytelling, we fed our imaginations and stepped closer to nature. With guided moments of reflection, we gave people the freedom to feel and recognize their work over the last two years. We found common space with one another and with things like the video you're about to see, the wider community, Everyone alive today is vulnerable to catastrophic global events. That's a deeply emotional challenge to face. It's frightening and needs care. Communicating climate catastrophe and the dire need for increased biodiversity is not the forte of data and science. We are unmoved by spiking graphs and Latin lists of lost creatures. It might just so happen to be that the answers are more simple and intuitive than we thought. Treating this world and one another with the best of our human qualities, imagination, inspiration, love and community could be enough to save our story.